Hello everyone and welcome back to another mod review. Today's mod is an aristocracy, royalty, and mistress career mod and it is very diverse. There's a European version, a Chinese version, a Japanese version, and an Ottoman version. So I'm really excited to show you all this today. It's fairly in depth. There are a lot of career options. So let's go ahead and get started. So this mod was created by Ava the Pit. I will go over very briefly the information that is on here. So we can kind of see some of this in a game and we will kind of just go over the careers and maybe I'll show you a little bit of gameplay that is associated with it. So there's a new relationship. This one was just updated. Apparently this has been out for quite a bit. I just didn't learn about it until recently, but a new relationship is a paramour or a slash lover. You can ask your sim to be a paramour or you can assign sign it in the career. So that is one option. And then so here are the careers. So we have European aristocracy, the levels are gentry, courtier, knight slash dame or royal attendant slash lord or lord slash lady. And then after choosing a branch, the sim will official, officially be a baron slash baroness, marquis, Mar I always pronounce it wrong, marquis or marquess, marquess. And then count slash countess, duke slash duchess or archduke slash archduchess. So this is really interesting. I will definitely be using this for my royal family series. Um, and I'll show you guys this in game as well. And then there's branches. You have an overseer of the barony, overseer of a county, overseer of a, I'm not gonna pronounce that correctly, overseer of a dukey and of an archduke as well. Um, and then for the titles, we kind of already went over that. So I won't go to, there's a lot to get through. So I'm not gonna go too much into this. I will link this page and all the information to download this mod if you wanna go over it and read it yourself. Again, there's a lot of details. Um, and then we have Japanese aristocracy in game. So as you can see, they each also have branches and then you can choose a specific branch after you have finished these. So your sim will have six options of what rank official they will be in. I think a lot of this might be a bit historical, but I still think it could be applied. Like I know a lot of people in my community and how I do it for my main series at least is to play more modern royals. However, I do have some historical royal gameplay. I, I want to do a history of Guangxi mini series and I also have my Royal Regency series. So we have all of that. Um, and then we have a Chinese aristocracy. So same sort of situation, branches, level, titles. And then once you finish those, you can choose choose like a specific rank. And then Ottoman aristocracy. This is, I think one of the first times I have seen, I, I've seen it in like the royalty mod as well, but this one kind of goes into a bit more depth. So, so you can also see the branches, levels and titles for those two. So that's for the aristocracy. Those are like nobles and all of that. And then we have royalty careers. So European royalty, we have base royal is the crown royal, any member of the royal family, which is interesting. I think for my crown royals, just how I do it in my series, is like the crown royal is the heir that can't be like replaced. But this one, it can be a crown royal, could be any member of the family. And then other branches are consorts and then of the direct lineage. So legitimate members of the blood, of blood, and then of the direct lineage, illegitimate person. So that's really interesting. So you could have legitimate and illegitimate members. And then we have more or about consort, secondary branches, empress consort, emperor consort, imperial consort, queen consort. This is great. I absolutely love this because it's very inclusive. And I feel like that is really important to a lot of people in their gameplay. And it's really important in my gameplay too. So I'm really happy that this is all here. And then we also have the ruling sovereign's parents. These are either the bi biological parents of the ruling sovereign or the spouses of the last one. So that is so interesting. I can definitely give that to my royals as well. And then there's some more information on here like of the blood. Again, I'm not gonna go too into it. I, I wanna show you all this in game, but essentially the same situation for Japanese royalty as well. Can have consorts married into the family and then secondary branches. As a lot of research has been done and a lot of research and a lot of work has gone into this for sure. And then same thing for Chinese royalty and same thing. I'm sorry if I'm scrolling a little fast. Again, I just wanna show you guys this in game. And then we have Ottoman 
Ottoman royalty. And I think we have the Imperial Harem as well. I think that goes along with the Ottoman royalty. And then Paramore, which is the new career that I mentioned. So there's a noble Paramore. Um, if you have a relationship with a noble lover, even if they or you are married. And then we have Royal Paramore. So there's levels a little Paramore. You are unacknowledged, less important royal lover. And then we have Declared Paramore. You have been presented or brought back to the royal court. And then Paramore with title. Nothing has changed really aside from you receiving an official title that has nothing to do with your formal position as your lover's only lover. So you have to choose, oh, choose between versions in the zip file in the non-royalty mod version versus a royalty mod version. Good to know, I should have read that first. I put everything in my game, so I'm gonna let that load real quick before we go into game. And then the titles do not appear above the Sims head, so that's a note. And then for the relationship feature, this pack now needs Skimabo's XML injector. I will also link that below to make sure you guys download that. And then always delete the previous files before replacing them in your mods folder and playing your game for any updates or anything like that. So let's go ahead and see this in game. All right, so today I thought I would feature my Willow Creek family to show you all the mod and I'll probably teleport some of my other royals here as well to show you guys the other aspects of the mod for like the Chinese and Japanese royalty and maybe the Ottoman royalty. And this is currently my Sims right before season three of my royalty family series begins. We're about to start season three of my royal family series in a little less than two weeks. So very excited for that and might be able to use this mod for it too. So I might be able to kind of like cheat some things because my Sims are already royals. Like this is the King of Willow Creek. This is Louie and then his wife, Corinne. And then his heir is, it says Prince Corn right now. This is Prince Cornelius. And then this is his husband, Prince Alice. And then their kids, Princess Vivienne and Prince Theo. I did already go over this, but you guys can see there are descriptions and pictures to go along with each of these careers. The aristocracy ones are up at the top. And then we have Paramore down here. I think they're in alpha, yeah, they're in alphabetical order. So that's why. So we have like the Royal Paramore, then the Paramore, and then the Royalty, EU, Imperial China, Japanese, all of that for the EU. That is where we will go since this family is inspired by France and Monaco. So you are part of the ruling family of a major territory with several other noble persons of various lineages. The head of your house is the ruling sovereign, king or queen. Other nobles may wish that they had your position or want to marry in, but be aware that there will always be those with more ambition who will go even further to get what they want. Interesting. Okay, so Louis, born or married into the imperial family, King Louis is now a crown royal at the royal or imperial family. <laughs> he starts Friday at 12 p.m., but we want to go ahead and cheat that. So I use UI cheats if you do not have that. I will link the mod below. Also, for those who don't know, I do have a tutorial if you don't know how to download mods and mods can only be downloaded for PC and Mac. They can't be used on console. So for the UI cheats mod, I can just right click on the picture and then I can promote. So currently he is a crown royal, so I can promote to branch selection. So we have consorts of the blood and of the blood illegitimate. So those married into the family, legitimate members of blood and then illegitimate. So he's of the blood. And I mean, we wanna cheat it until we get to king, right? Yes, so <laughs> promote. Okay, here we go. So now he can pick any of these and he is the king. So I will go ahead and give that to him. And then essentially I would do the same with the rest of the family. Um, they would all be part of the royal. So either married in or born into the family. I, I won't do that for each of them. Maybe I'll just do it for Corinne and then I'll probably add it on my own time. We do have the Paramore option. Maybe I'll show that in a different save because I don't want to just randomly start drama for a mod review. Um, we'll have to wait for my Royal Family series to start back up again before we add some more drama in here. So we're going to, again, uh, Corinne would be Royalty EU. And then with the UI Cheats mod, I would right click, I would say branch selection. She's a consort. So, wow, they make a lot of money. And then promote. And she is the queen consort. So there we go. I don't know if there are other interactions if they're not a paramour. It doesn't look like it. 
So just to show you another branch. So I have teleported Empress Araminta here. I am going to use the control any sim mod, which I will also link below to control her and so she can pick a career so we can see this. So my Guangxi royal family has inspirations from Chinese royalty and also from Japanese royalty. And, and right now, currently there's the Japanese royal family. So that might be the most modern thing to do. I could honestly go for either one for this family. Let's go for Japanese. Promote to branch selection. And so she's of the, of the direct lineage. Interesting that there's no illegitimate royal on this one. I find that very interesting. So we're going to press okay and then right click again and go to promote. And so we have Imperial Sovereign, so gender neutral for the Sovereign. And then I like that they included the Japanese names for each of these two. So Emperor, Empress, Imperial Family Member, Princess, Prince, Im oh, interesting. The abdicated former Emperor, interesting, okay. Imperial, so gender neutral for the former abdicated Imperial Sovereign. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so much in here, I love this. Okay, well, she is the Empress, so we'll go ahead and pick that. They make more money. Do you see this? She makes more money as the Empress than the King does. I think that's interesting. <laughs> so basically, yes, we would go ahead and, like for me, I would go ahead and apply these jobs to all the family members. There are a lot. I have a lot of royals. If you don't know, I have seven royal families. If you're interested in my royal family series, by the way, I will link the video I suggest starting with below. Um, but the royals here, I would go ahead and assign them the jobs and stuff. And then there's the aristocracy, which I would do also for my nobles. And then let's go ahead and show you all the mistresses slash parents. Moors. All right, I am now in another save file. I actually did a, another review on this royalty mod for the Wu Ten. what is it called, the, the scenarios. So that was a mod I did a review on that if you're interested in, I will link the video to that. So I'm going to show you, I thought this would be a good save to show you all this in. This is a different save file than my main royal family series. I have given the emperor here the, oh, also by the way, I did mention before in the description so they did say that there are two versions there's a royalty mod version and that has rm on the there's two of them that has rm at the end of those package files and then there's another version if you don't have the royalty mod and that doesn't have rm in it so make sure you download the correct one but that does say this is compatible with lazy neef's royalty mod which is a great mod if you are not playing it and you play royals i, I do recommend and i will link my mod review to that as well so i just wanted to say that really quickly, but I've gone ahead and given the emperor here, the emperor career and also the empress, she's the emperor's career. So we have Wu Ten. she is here. I don't think she needs to join a career for this, but I'm gonna bring the emperor down and we're gonna try this paramour thing. Wait, no, she needs to come back, hello. Okay, there she is. All right, so he is going to, how does this work? A flirtation, I need to find this. Okay, so I actually, the paramour might be just for the European royals. It says here, under the interactions, you will receive a new cosmetic rel, rel bit according to who has either the European aristocrat slash royal career and you will become each other's partner slash significant others. So that's only if you're playing with the European royals but it does seem that I can still have a concubine here possibly. So let's see how we can do this. So I'm gonna have her join a career. So she would be, would this be an aristocrat or would it be under Chinese royalty, royalty imperial China? Let's, okay, let me try royalty really quickly. Promote, ah, oh, oh, wait, consorts. Those married into, okay, I mean, they're not married into it. Promote, ah, I found it. Okay, okay, imperial cron, cron, cron cubine. <laughs> Crunk. Concubine. All right, so we have Empress Consort. We have Emperor Consort. And then we have Imperial Consort and Imperial Concubine. So that Lady of Talents, interesting. So that is what she would be. Okay, so now she's an Imperial Concubine. So there are multiple levels of the concubine. We have level three, Lady of Talents. Level four, Beauty. Level five, Lady of Handsome Fairness. Level six, Imperial Concubine. Level seven, Consort. That is interesting to get promoted. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what you have to do 
to get promoted. I think UI cheats is, is very much necessary if you already have an established royal family because obviously as a career, you can kind of like start from the bottom and work your way up. Um, and that could be very fun for some gameplay, almost like a, almost like a rags to riches, but for royalty. But this way with the UI cheats, if you already have an established royal family, you can go ahead and have them do that. He's not obviously, but for example, if we did the European royalty, if he did change careers for the paramour, I do want to see that. Um, so we're going to use a cell phone in Imperial China. We're gonna use a cell phone to change his career and we'll just check out what that is. Okay, so I did change change his career to the European royalty, but I do think this is interesting. So it says the emperor has quit his job. He decided it was time for a new direction career rise, but it says either kicked out or a marriage has ended with death. So that's interesting if you either change career or like quit the royalty career. I really like this, y'all. Like it, it, it kind of solidifies their role in a way without too many moving bits and pieces. So if you you can have the royalty mod and you can have this mod, or you can just have the royalty mod, or you can just have this mod. Either way, whatever works. There's a lot of options now for Royal Sims players, which is amazing because when I started this, there was nothing. So th there's options now, guys. This is amazing. Anyway, I want him to ask Wu Zidane to be his paramour, but. But again, that would not be a, this would be for more European royals. But I, I just wanted to see it here so we could try it. So you can ask him to be your paramour. So what happens if we do that? Let's see here. She says yes. It's like basically asking, oh my God, are they gonna take a selfie? Oh. <laughs> Okay, super cute. Became Royal's intimate companion. So she can be promoted. I've mentioned this before. So she's little paramour currently and then level two is declared paramour and level three is paramour with a title. So those are the options. That's how you ask a sim to be your paramour if you're playing with the European Royals. I will say this is great. I love the diversity here. I, I'm going to make a request for, you know, if, I have an African royal family and I would really love to see a mod for that. I, I don't see much for it. So I would really love to see if, if that could be included in the mod, but I already love how diverse this is. This is a great start, I think. I love seeing diversity in The Sims. But I think that's it for the mod review today. So again, if you're interested in my Royal Family series, you can go ahead and watch the video that I link below to start with. And I highly recommend this mod. If you play with Royals, highly recommend. This is great. There are a lot of options. It just brings things to life a little bit more, but not in like a super complex way, which is great. And again, it is compatible with the Royalty mod by Lazy Neath. So. If this was helpful and you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and turn on that notification bell. I do plan to do a mini series at some point of my history of Guangxi. So kind of a historic Chinese royal drama or Japanese royal drama, probably more Chinese since that is what the mod is geared for. And then we still have a Royal Regency series and all of that as well. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.